In this video, we will learn how to find the mean of data that has been grouped. So first let's talk about what this means, grouped data. Grouped data is data that has been grouped into different sections. So what this means is, you don't know all the specific values of the data, you only know how many numbers appeared in each group. Let's look at an example. This data is a group of test scores for a recent test. And as you can see, it has the data grouped into different sections. The first group is for all of the scores that were between zero and 60, but not including 60 and five students got less than 60 on this test. Four students got between 60 and 70, 10 students got between 70 and 80, and so on. So to figure out the mean when you don't actually know the exact numbers is a little bit different. What we're going to do is find the midpoint for each of our different groups, and then calculate the mean using that. So to find the midpoint for each group, you're basically thinking about what's the number that's exactly in the middle of the two numbers, or that's the same thing as finding the average of your outer limits of the group. So for the first group between zero and 60, the midpoint would be 30. For the next group, it would be 65, and then 75, 85, and 95. Once we have the midpoint, the next step is to multiply each midpoint by the corresponding number of data points that were in that range. So in this case, that would be multiplying by the number of students. So for the first one, we're going to multiply 30 by 5 to get 150. For the next one, we'll multiply 65 times 4 to get 260. Continue, 10 times 75 is 750, 15 times 85 is 1,275, and 95 times 4 is 380. Now we want to figure out two things. We want to figure out how many total students were there in our population or in our sample, and we also want to find the sum of all of the midpoints and frequency products. So we're finding the sum, essentially, of this second column and this fourth column. So the sum of the total numbers of students is 38. So that means that there are 38 students in our population, maybe 38 students in the class. The sum of all the midpoint frequency products is 2,815. So now to find the average or the mean, what we do is take this sum, the sum of the products of midpoint and frequencies, and divide it by the total number of students in our sample. And we get approximately 76.1. So in this case, we would say the mean test score was 76.1 for this sample. So in general, if you're given data that is grouped, the way you want to figure out the mean is first figure out the midpoint of each of your groups. That's what we did here. Then multiply the mid each midpoint by the frequency of how many data points there were in that given range. Sum that up, also figure out how many data points you had all together, and divide those two numbers and you'll have the mean. You might notice this is similar to what you have to do if you're given a frequency table and you want to figure out the mean there. 